This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, so has Basil DeVito. Let's talk about that. The observer would write Basil DeVito, longtime vice president with Titan sports, who left a few years back was hired back as a consultant when it comes to business development in a sense, he'll be replacing Lisa Wolf, who was another company VP in charge of business development and human resources. Talk to us about Basil DeVito, not a guy we've spent a lot of time talking about. Okay. Well. Basil DeVito replacing Lisa Wolf trying to think of a good analogy here is like taking one of the greatest business people to replace a McDonald's order taker. Not a big fan of Lisa, huh? No, I'm not. I'm not. I thought she was, um, vindictive and, and not a nice person and not very good at her job. And her job was not business development. Her job was human resources. And a lot of people, Kevin Nash and whatnot have, uh, had a little fun talking about Lisa Wolf that she really didn't get professional wrestling. No, you know, see, I don't have fun talking about Lisa. I have PTSD talking about Lisa and it's, uh, yeah, she was, she was out of her. She was, she was out of her bailiwick with us. Definitely a different world and a different, uh, different field than anything she thought she'd ever been in before. You think one day there's enough meat on the bone for us to do at least a wolf episode. I think that so much of the Lisa memory with me personally is suppressed. And I don't know that I could get it all out. There are, um, you know, Lisa Wolf was really the only other, really maybe the only person that ever made me quit. Wow. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I, I couldn't deal with it. Now, I don't hate to do a timeout here, but I want to make sure I've got the time frame right. JJ Dillon is, is helping run talent relations. Lisa Wolf right. was doing human resources. Right. Did they have to interface a lot? Yes. How, how was that relationship? Um, I think JJ would tell you it was horrible. He hated working with her too. Oh yeah. The, you, there wasn't anybody that liked working with her. She just had a way. I challenge you to find a person that enjoyed working with her. I've never heard one nice thing spoken of her. Yeah. Which makes me wonder why was she here? Was she a Vince hire? Was she a Linda hire? Somebody made the decision that even though nobody gets along with her, she has value. Um, she was a necessary hire from the standpoint of restructuring the company and you know, looking at it from a complete outsider, looking in from a business point of view and a personnel point of view. So she, as far as putting people in place and the right jobs and all that, she came highly recommended. I just think that she had her Rolodex and that was it. And then everybody, yeah, Lisa Wolf was the person that told me that no one should ever stay at a job longer than two years. Mm. You need to move on, build your resume. I said, but isn't a good resume that you've been at a job for a long time and you've gone up the ranks there. Oh no, 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 no. You got to have multiple jobs, but every time that you leave, you got to go to a better job. That's how you build your resume. That's called success in life. Okay. Yeah. And she was from New York and had the, the New York accent and, or no, she's from Boston, Boston. And, um, allegedly had a boyfriend named Bobby. Yeah. And, um, wait, 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 why'd you, flip no, me? no, 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 no. So, uh, why'd you flip me off? I didn't flip you off. Yes, you did. So <laughs> it was, uh, okay. Yeah. There, there were a lot of imaginary people <laughs> in, that, in that world. And, um, her brother, uh, th- th- here's another great, <laughs> my bro, my brother 
and Steven T- Aerosmith, their best friends and all this shit, right? So Aerosmith was coming to the Meadowlands, and I said, well, shit, they're such good friends, man. Can you get me? I, he can get you any tickets you need anywhere ever. Now, in our business, when someone says that, like, okay, hey, great, man. I, I hate asking for tickets. I hate asking for tickets. I hate being asked for tickets. And But this offer was made, and I'm a big fan of Aerosmith. So I said, hey, shit, yeah, man. Um, they're coming to the Meadowlands. I'd, I'd love to see Aerosmith. Any, think you can get me four tickets? She, one of these people that, like, gets him on the phone right there. And she says, I've got Bruce Pritchard here and blah, blah, blah. He'd like Aerosmith tickets. And he goes, yeah, hey, shit, yeah, man. What do you need? What do you need, bud? I said, any way you get four? Done. I said, oh, holy shit. I said, look, man, I, 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 I'm happy to pay for them. Uh, you know, whatever and everything. She's like, oh, my God, thank you. I said, yeah, just give me your credit card. Whip out my credit card, give him a credit card number. I don't know how much those tickets cost. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if, it's a matter of how much. Save with Conrad.com. I do. $1,800. Well, you got the hookup. You know how much people sitting next to us paid for their tickets? How much? $21. Oh my goodness. It was a ticket broker. Uh Uh-huh. Well. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I can get you whatever you need, man. Sure. I I didn't even ask like an idiot. Yeah. I didn't ask how much. Right. But I, I always offer to, pot, to pay to buy them. I'm, of I'm not going to ask you for comps. They just didn't know that the fucking $21 tickets were going to cost me $429 more than everybody else. It's a lot. Uh-huh. And he, he threw in a fee in there, too. Of course. Of course. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.